Good morning. Today is May 9th, I think, of 2020. I know it's a Saturday. <laughs> um, we're still stuck at home, but today is a really beautiful day, and I thought I would do an updated flip of my everyday planner. It's been a while since I've done a flip, especially on YouTube at least. On Instagram, I think I have done one more recently, but still. And I just want to sh show how I'm using it right recently. My everyday planner is not my everyday carry. And the reason why is because I'm not going anywhere. So when I do go out, I want to keep things very simple, very clean and tight. Because right now going outside gives me anxiety. So my wallet and the things that I need, like my wallet, my checkbook register, and my brain dump list are all in a single personal. And it's all combined into one because it's very easy to tuck underneath my arm and just run into the store and get right out. But this is not, it's a little chunkier, so I'm not currently using it as an everyday carry. However, it still is my everyday planner. Even though I am home, I do check it every day, and I kind of wanted to explain how I'm using it right now. So this cover currently is a Speckle Fawns B6 Slim in the Toasted Flan Leather. Um, the leather is no longer available, however, Speckle Fawns has numerous amounts of leathers that come out. Her store is open, however, her options are more limited right now. So. I would say if you know what you want and she has it available right now, I would go ahead and order it because it does take time to get it in. However, if you go onto her website and you don't see a leather that you like, maybe give it a few more weeks until the quarantine has slowed down and she might be able to pull up more leathers and get more work done. But this is was limited edition. Um, she will bring back limited edition leathers if she has a large enough demand, however. The front pocket, I have nothing in it. I usually don't keep anything in there, so that's not surprising. In the front, I have no pet paper in my in case of emergency card. I like to keep an in case of emergency card on all of my covers that I'm currently using. It just gives me peace of mind in case something does happen that I need to bring this out and then I leave it somewhere. I always just keep it tucked into a front pocket. The no pet paper. I made it from Annie Plants printables. This is a micro TN size uh, printable. And then I printed it just like normal, but instead I cut all the way around it so that I can glue the top and make a notepad. It's a very simple thing to do, honestly. In the back, I have more notepad paper. I do like my notepad paper. I have a thank you card, um, a washi card, fold with um, mostly simply gilded washing. The bottom one is from Michaels, however. It's quite old. I don't know if they have it anymore, but Michaels always has a lot of washi tape to look at. And then this is my pen, my everyday pen, my paper made ink joy 0 0.7 in black. And I have four inserts in here. And as you can see, I do not have a wallet insert in here. Like I explained before, I'm not using this as a wallet. So my first insert is my month on two pages with graph and at the front I printed off um, a year in pixels which is a free printable from Annie Plants Printables and then I have graph paper that has like a yearly checklist. All my inserts are from Annie Plants Printables. I use, I buy the printables and then I print them in the way that I personally want to use the insert as. So for example, her month on two pages is a month on two pages. It does not come with graph on the back. So I purchased the graph and the month on two pages separately, printed the monthly first on one side, and then flipped the page over and printed graph on the back. And that's how I was able to get a month on two pages with graph on the back. That's, that's how I did it. And there are lots of ways to do it. That's just my preferred way. And then the Pixels is a free printable. And I printed it on one side and wrapped the entire sheet around my month. 
And then this is graph pages that was on the back of my January. So that's, there's so many ways to do it. That's just how my brain comprehended it. This is again another notepad. Um, this is the personal size. Well, this is the micro size, but it's the exact same insert. This is my daily, and I use the same daily insert as I have been throughout this entire year. This is the C. Amy Draw collab, which comes with a month in the beginning, and then it has daily pages. And each week starts off with a this week page. It's all graph. And around my daily insert, I printed the Planner Society collab with any plans printables in which that collab came with two inserts and I printed only the monthly section. So it comes with a perpetual month and then it has a list as well. So I printed the month and then I printed the list on the back of the CME draw insert. And that's how I got that. The cover is that same collab with the Planner Society. This is just a loose leaf sticker sheet that I just put random stickers on. This is an insert that I did not do any Franklin, Frankensteining on. This is just a week on one page. And then this, again, I did not Frankenstein it. This is just a habit tracker. And then the back. So how I use this as my everyday planner is every morning I go in. And so today, Saturday, I already did grocery shopping. But I will write down everything that I want to do. I haven't done that thus far, but I will. Oh, today is the 9th. I was correct. And after I do that, I will go to my weekly, my week on one page. And over here, I've already predated or pre-wrote down my workouts. And I will write down what I ate for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever I eat a meal. I will go to my habit tracker. And these are the habits that I'm currently tracking. Let's not see how bad I am at that. And I will mark off whenever I do a, a, a habit. So I mark it like with lines. To me, it's more visually appealing and less cluttered. And that's really how I plan every day for quarantine. It's honestly not that different than if I wasn't in quarantine, to be honest. The only thing is I have a lot more free time. So I, like I, I write down what I've taken my almost daily nap at this point. Um, I, I don't think simply because you're in a, you're staying at home, it doesn't mean that you don't have any plans or anything to do. It just depends on how you feel that day. But yeah, that is my everyday planner. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask, and I hope you guys all have a nice day. Stay home and stay safe. Bye!